Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printing here. In today's video, I'll be talking about how to use multiple databases in Flask SQL Alchemy. So up until this point in all my YouTube videos, I've only used one database in my examples, but in this example, I'll show you how to use more than one. And in this particular example, I'll show you how to use three at the same time. But before I get into that, I want to show you my Flask SQL Alchemy Basics course on prettyprinted.com. It's a free course and it goes more in depth into Flask SQL Alchemy than I do on my YouTube videos. So if you're interested in learning more about Flask SQL Alchemy, check out prettyprinted.com. I'll have a link in the description below. And while you're there, you can check out the other courses on prettyprinted.com as well. So to handle multiple databases, it's simply configuring multiple databases. So as you know, to configure one database, you use SQL Alchemy database URI, and that is going to be the same. And the database that you configure here will be the default database. So I'm going to go ahead and create three databases with SQLite. I'll name them one, two, and three, and they should have no tables. So SQLite three, two dot DB and SQLite three, three dot DB. Okay. So I have three databases here. So the first database that I'm going to connect to is one. So I'll just put the URL here. So I believe it's four and then the location on my computer. So if I got this right, it's multiple databases and then one. One dot DB will be the first database that I connect to and to connect to additional databases, I can't use the same configuration value because it's already used. So instead what I'll use is another configuration value called SQL Alchemy binds. And this will be a dictionary that holds the addiction, additional databases. So the first database I'll name two, and it's going to point to the location on my computer. And of course this can be a can be a remote database, it can be a MySQL database on your machine, whatever SQL database you want to use, it doesn't matter. I'm just using a three SQLite databases to keep things simple. So documents, multiple databases, and then two.db. And it's going to have one more key, three, and that will be for the final database. So mount C users, Anthony documents, multiple databases, three dot DB. And I forgot the slash here and an A there. Okay. So that should work. So once I have the locations of the databases specified, I can go ahead and instantiate the database connection. So DB equals SQL Alchemy and pass in the app. And then I'll create three tables and each table will go into a different database. So the tables will be named one, two, and three as well. So I want a class and I'll call this one and inherits from DB model. And it's going to have an ID of an integer column. So DB integer and primary key is true because of course in SQL Alchemy, you always need a primary key. I'm actually not going to create any additional columns because once you see that you can connect to different databases and work with them, then it's not too difficult to understand how you can use multiple columns. So it's the same thing uh, with more than one column, but for simplicity purposes, each database will only have one column. So the second table will have one column as well, also an ID column. So integer primary key is true. And then finally, the third table or call this three inherits DB dot model ID DB column DB integer. And then of course it needs the primary key. So I have the three tables. So how do I tell SQL Alchemy which table belongs to which database? I do that by using a bind key. So the bind key is just an attribute. 
So bind. So double underscore, then bind, then single underscore key, and then double underscore again. And it's equal to whatever the key name is. So in this case, it will be three. And I'll do the same thing for two. So bind key is, should be one equal sign, is two. And then for the first table, one, since it deals with the default database, the one here, I don't have to specify a bind key. So I'll save that. And now what I want to do is create the tables in each one of these databases. So I'll start up Python and I'll import DB so I can create the tables. So from multiple databases, import DB. Okay, so I have the DB and normally you would use create all to create the, all the tables in your database. And you can use that here, but if you wanted to only create the tables for a certain bind, then you would use the bind key there. And then you pass in either a list of binds that you want to create. So if I wanted to do two and three, I can do something like this or I can pass in a list of one, or I could simply pass in a name like that. So bind equals three, db.createAll. And it's telling me that it couldn't parse something, so I see I made a mistake. I forgot a colon there. But you see it was targeting the third database. So I'll just import that again, and I'll run db.createAll on three again. And I think I have to restart Python. So let me do that quickly from multiple databases, import DB. So DB create all and bind is going to be equal to three. And I got no errors this time because I fixed the missing colon. So if I exit out of this and open up SQLite three with Three, I see I have a single table in the database called three. And if I open up two, for instance, and check the tables, I have nothing. So I'll open up Python again from multiple databases, import DB. And this time I'll just call DB create all, and this will create all the remaining tables in their corresponding databases. So now if I open up the first table and look at the tables, I see one. And then if I open up the second table, check the tables, I see two. So really that's the, the hardest part. And then inside of Flask, if I want to use one database over another, then I will use it in a typical SQL Alchemy way. So as an example, I'll show you one. And basically what's going to happen is I'm going to create a record in, let's say the second database. So I'll call this second instantiate two ID is going to be equal to, let's say 634 and then DB session add second DB session commit and I'll return something saying added a value to the second table. So I'll save that and I'll start up my app and it's called multiple databases.py. And then I'll go run it. It says added a value to the second table. So now if I close out of this and open up table number two and select star from two, I see 634 because that's what I just added. And if I close this out and open up say table one, for instance, select star from one, I have nothing because I haven't dealt with that table yet. So to insert data into those tables, you simply do everything that you would normally do in SQL Alchemy and you don't even have to worry about the correct database being used because you specify the values 
up here in the configuration. So after you've done that, you specify the bind keys, you don't have to worry about it again because every time you use the model for each table, SQL Alchemy will handle putting the data in the correct database for you. So if you ever wanna separate your data for any reason, like for instance, you have a configuration database and you have a user database or any other combination of databases, the binds in SQL Alchemy are great to use and in Flask, they're very easy to use. So that's it for this video. Like I said, you can check out prettyprinted.com to check out the Flask SQL Alchemy basics course. I have a couple of other courses on there that you can check out as well. Um, if you have any questions about this video, you can leave a comment down below. And if you like this video, you can give me a thumbs up. So thank you for watching this video and I will talk to you next time.